Hi everybody. Yes, I've been testing some things with Ubuntu Studio, but that's not what the video today is about. So as always, it's about Reaper and the Tukan Studios plugins. So let's start Reaper. And please don't ask me about this Linux audio configuration, because to me that is really complicated and I'm happy that I got it done so far. With funny things looking like this window here. So back to topic. What is it about today? Let's hear some music. And I wonder if you noticed that these meters here are rarely updated and this um, time thing here is really slow. And that's not about my screen recorder or my graphics card. This actually is a Reaper related problem. And as we can see in the mixer, I have some Tukan Studios plugins loaded here. And when I open the project, Reaper actually thinks that all the plugin windows are open. So on load, the plugins report their state wrong. And I think this is a little bug with a system variable in Reaper. And it took me a while to find out what I need to do there but I think I fixed it. So again, let's see how the mixer looks with the um, old state of the plugins. Well, that's not so good. And with the update comes a facelift for the um, bus compressor, which looked like this. And now looks like this. And I hope you like it. And now after the update, let's see what the mixer does. Well, that's how we like it. And let's see what the main window does. We can see the numbers here. Yes, everything's updated correctly now. So please update your Tukan Studios plugins because it will dramatically increase the performance. And now, Let's get to the new plugin. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. So, this is what we just heard. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. So, let's hear the end of this thing. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. And now without the new plugin. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. Again with the plugin. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. And yes, you might have guessed it. The new plugin is the Tukan Studios Exciter with Fat Bottom Series 2. And this features two sections. The left one is Fat Bottom. Here we can just select a frequency and this defines which of the sub frequencies are affected. And then we have the sub mix where we just dial in the amount of the effect. And what it basically does, it adds subharmonic frequencies. And I often use things like that for this kind of cineastic announcement like we just heard or to emphase kick drums and things like that. And yes, of course, we can bypass this thing here. And then we have the exciter. And of course, this has a frequency dial too. And the exciter amount mix. And yes, of course, we have an overall output for gain staging. And yes, of course, we have all the series two features. Let's hear it with the bypass effect again. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. Tukan Studios is making plugins for you. I'm sure you all know what it does. So let's see another example for the use of the plugin. At the end of the song that we heard in the first part of the video, there's a funny little vocal part, which goes like this. So what we just heard was without the plugin and I used the plugin to give more low end to the low vocals and to enhance the higher vocals. So everything sounds more 
direct and full and rich. Let's hear in direct comparison. And now with the plugin on. So, I think this is a nice difference. And that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the plugins and bye bye.